Good afternoon, I'm Daniel Pizzoni with your local 10 News update for the Sunshine Coast. A night of dedication for some of Port Augusta's SES heroes. Mark Morgan was bestowed with the National Emergency Medal, one of the highest levels of recognition possible for his services during the 2019-2020 bushfires. I'm humbled, uh, I really am, but yeah, um, yeah, just the devastation that I've seen over there is, yeah, and getting to help the community of Kangaroo Island so they can get back on their feet was, yeah, really good. Mr Spears has plenty of work to do to regain voters' trust in the Spencer Gulf following the Liberals' drubbing in the state election. My job is to completely refresh, renew, re reinvigorate the party and take it uh, to a completely different place, to be quite honest. Port Augusta's Gladstone Square was home to hope and assistance today for the 2022 Sober Walk. With the slogan, Believe You Can and You Are Halfway There, the encouraging words of the day. Organised by the Aboriginal Drug and Alcohol Council, the Sober Walk moved through Port Augusta's CBD, cheered on by onlookers. Alcohol abuse is one of the main catalysts for Port Augusta's antisocial behaviour problems, accumulating in dry zones and alcohol sale restrictions. Over 4,000 people have now visited the Rob Mitchell Pool, proving it's one of the most popular places in Port Augusta. Good evening, I'm Daniel Pizarro with 10 News Locals continuing coverage of Tropical Cyclone Jasper. The massive storm has brought destructive winds, torrential rain and flash flooding to the far north after re-intensifying as it headed towards the coast. Good evening. It's been another tragic day on Spencer Gulf Roads. Two people, both from Wyala, have died after their cars collided at Lincoln Gap. Police have called on drivers to be extra careful after a horror start to the year on South Australian roads. Daniel Pizarro reports from the scene. Maddie, behind me is another tragedy on South Australia's roads, this time on the Lincoln Highway, where a two-vehicle accident has sadly turned fatal. Tarpaulins cover two Toyotas, only in part masking the horror that claimed two more lives on our roads. Disturbing scenes on a Port Augusta street, this time near Spencer Junction on Daniel Terrace. The video believed to have been recorded on the weekend. Oh, kick in, kick in. And it's been a perfect end to a special day for one legend of the Bracknell Football Club. Josh Holler notched up 450 senior games in style, booting a few crucial goals for the Red Legs. I was lucky to get on the end of a couple. Um, 450, actually pretty proud about it. Um, a few years ago I never thought I'd probably get there. And to make the milestone match that little bit sweeter, Bracknell proved too strong for Bridge North, winning by 46 points. Rosanna Natoli says public transport is a key challenge for the Sunshine Coast that she would have to tackle if she was elected mayor. The TV news presenter says the outgoing council has a diluted message over the Sunshine Coast direct rail, telling 10 News Local they didn't focus on the importance of building up transport hubs for residents, as well as having more buses available while the rail line is under construction. Connecting those communities that are still yet to be built is so important. We need to build those communities with density around those transport hubs. That is the way we will get people to move around. Well, when we played them back at Bracknell, um, they chipped the ball around a lot and cut us through the middle and, uh, and it took us three quarters to get back to where we wanted to be. And... Ends our special coverage of 10 News Local for now. I'm Daniel Pizarro. Stay safe.